I'm Jennifer Irvine. I'm founder of The Pure Package. I started The Pure Package over 16 years ago. Um, we started carbon neutralizing our deliveries from day one. So we've been carbon neutralizing our deliveries since before the iPhone this has been filmed on was even invented, let alone Facebook or Instagram. So welcome to my vegetable garden. Um, I grew up on a totally self-sufficient farm. I was one of four children and I myself also have four daughters. I certainly do not want my legacy on this planet to be a big pile of plastic. So Matt, our wonderful work experience student, suggested that we make this video together. So this is a pure package bag, which um, you guys, our clients, get delivered each day to your doorstep. And inside it are ice packs and all of your food for the day. So what Matt did was he first of all weighed this and the usual weight is 1,535 grams of packaging. Wow, what a lot of packaging. So the good news is, first things first, the bag itself and the ice packs, obviously you put those back on your doorstep. They account for 1,400 of those grams. Um, so these get reused countless, countless, countless times. They're really good. The next thing that you will find is your, the next thing you're gonna find in your bag is your um, napkins and your menu, which you receive every day. Um, it obviously, on the menu, it explains how we ethically source all of your ingredients. Um, so we only use sustainably sourced fish and meat. And we're very careful about what we, what we put into the food. So the menu and, um, and the napkins are obviously made from recycled materials. And on top of that, they also are completely recyclable and compostable. My daughter wants to make clear to everyone that this cutlery is also totally compostable. A lot of people give me flack over this. They say, why are you using this ugly plastic cutlery? It is not ugly plastic cutlery. It is um, made from vegetables and is totally compostable. I have to say, I reuse the same ones myself again and again. Um, and you can just put them back in your bag and, we, um, and not use them and then we will reuse them for you. Okay, so the next bit is the bit that probably annoys, you know, is the most frustrating to people and to me. Um, we use these uh, black containers to put your food in. Um, a lot of people say to me, hey, how come you're not using cardboard ones that are so much better? Well, the truth is those lovely looking cardboard ones um, have been coated in plastic, which means they're not recyclable and they're not compostable which is very frustrating. These plastic containers are made with 80% recycled plastic and they're 100% recyclable. So they're actually really quite good, even though they don't look like they're very good, for, good as an option. So please, welcome to my um, greenhouse. This final bit of packaging is the piece, the film that we use. Um, it's not recyclable. Um, Matt has weighed everything and this film accounts for less than um, half a percent of our packaging. So it's 0.49% of our packaging is this film. And this is the part that we are working on the most. Um, so now, are you ready for the big reveal? <laughs> so. We do not ask you to um, go to the shops and buy all your own ingredients or chop them up or even cook them. We do all that work for you. But what I really want you to do is this final bit. After you've had your food, this is a whole week of packaging in front of you that we don't use, reuse for you at the Pure Package. So these are your plastic trays, a whole week of plastic trays. You need to put these into the recycling, okay? I'm sure you'll agree that this is a lot less packaging than you would use if you were going out and buying all your own food. Um, this is a week of menus and napkins if you use them all. Um, this can either go in your compost or into your recycling. And then finally, this is the cutlery that I have to admit most people don't use that comes back in the bags to us. Um, it, again, totally compostable cutlery. So. And then finally, my least favorite bit, this is a whole week of your film that we use. 
So this needs to go into your regular rubbish bag. Don't pull it off and chuck it out into nature. Put it into your proper rubbish bag so that it can be um, taken away by your local council. Thank you very much.